What's going on, YouTubers? Heart Collector and Ethan Monster here. Hi. Little man, tell them what we're going to do today. Well, this should give you a hint. Oh, this is a good hint. We just finished building the ultimate mega fort for our backdrop for our upcoming videos for Fortnite. So, hmm. Any guesses out there, guys? Fortnite Battle Royale Collection Mystery Box! Da, 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 da. <laughs> Mystery Box! This is the official Whoopi and Moose Toys Battle Royale Collection Fortnite Mystery Box. Uh oh, we got a loot drop here, Monster. What could be inside this awesome Mystery Box? It says Fragile, Fragile, Fragile. Everywhere Fragile. You guys ready to open this? Yeah. All right, let's see what's inside. Everyone brace yourselves. We got the review station ready. Ethan, you got your uh, handy dandy fingers ready to open this? I think so. <laughs> I think so. You, you don't even know how to use scissors. This one doesn't require scissors and Ethan still doesn't know. <laughs> Wait, I'm one-handed right now. I'm one-handed. Oh, man, it must be jam-packed with stuff because it's like barely opening. All right, you lift the other side. Oh, no, it is. Do you guys see that? It is packed to the top. Are you guys ready for this? Yep. Here we go. One, two, three. Lift. Oh, oh my gosh. What? It's is packed. Whoa. Are you guys ready? All right, set it over here. here. Set it over there. I'm going to set up the camera. One by one, you go ahead and bring it to the camera, okay? okay? okay. All right, what do we got first up? Crack shot. Oh, isn't he like a rare one? I think he is. Oh man, guys! All right, so first up, crack shot. Look at that! All the stuff he comes with. All right, so I guess we'll sh go over. Is this the second wave that came out? Thinking. This is the second series that came out. There was nine in the set, including the crack shot. So crack shot is one of them, and there's eight more to complete. This was series two. So this one comes with a figure, two accessories, and then the little figure base right there. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and kind of set them up. I guess we'll get it all opened at the very end, huh? We got bright... Uh-oh. What, what is this one? Uh-oh. Bright Gunner? We're just going to have to say it. We're gonna, whether they demonetize it or not. Bright Gunner? So there's Bright Gunner in his box. He's got his little backpack. and Oh, I love, love, love his little mini gun. That's cool. So he's the second one in this set. That we've gotten. Why he's right. Oh, eight? he's on this it's one. It's crazy how they're eight and up. Ages. Ages eight and up. You barely make the deadline. The little cut for that, Ethan. Sledgehammer. Whoa. Sledgehammer. Wow. He comes with a, he comes with a whole bunch of guns. <laughs> wow. Look at that. So this is the third one. I have a feeling the whole set is in there now. This is the third one. Ah, old rabbit raider. Rabbit raider. This is the easiest one to find. <laughs> Just rabbits. Every time we go to Walmart, like this is the only one you see. I've seen Rabbit Raider and who's the other common one? I would say Wait. him. The one with the little disco ball. What's his name again? He's got the little disco ball on the um on his pickaxe. Ooh. I'm sure he he might be in there. Like because we're getting the whole set. Chomster. Chomster, you don't see him a lot in the store. Uh -uh. So Chomster, I like his pickaxe with the shark. Hey, it was Shark Week, like oh, yeah. last week, week and a half ago. We just missed it. We should have bought a whole bunch of them. So he's a shark. Oh man, look at this. It's like literally, it's the whole set. Oh, Red Knight. Red Knight. You know what we should do? We should make like a diorama of a beach and just put all those Chompsters in there. I like the artwork, how they put the art of the character right there. Yeah, that's and they got their, their, you could actually just collect them in the box like this with the full window display. I think you're going to run out of room. Over 100 figures to collect. Yep. Look right there, it says Fortnite video game is intended, look, it's intended for 13 years. If you're under 18, you have to ask for parental consent. That's crazy that they put that for the video game, huh? Yeah. Even though the toys are only eight years old. Alright, here we go. Whoa, Moisty Merman. Moisty Merman. Moisty Merman. <laughs> we have him in the three three quarter inch, huh? I think so, yeah. Look at his pickaxe. It's like a guitar. <laughs> and his backpack is like oxygen tanks. So you breathe underwater. It's pretty cool. Moisty Merman. He's pretty cool. I don't play Fortnite a whole bunch. 
So this is a question that Ethan gets a lot. People think you don't play the game at all. Do you play the game? That's the guy I'm talking about. Uh. The one with the little disco ball. That's what I was talking about. It's like a big old shiny disco ball. Funk Ops. That's his name. I see him at the store a lot. I don't even know why I don't remember his name. He's got the little boogie bomb. Um, so what was it? What were we talking about? Question. Question. People think you don't play the game. <laughs> Do you play Fortnite? Yeah. He's just right now. Go ahead. Is there any more? Is that all the way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nice. one more in the set. Oh, this I think this is the hardest one to get. Aerial threat. I have not seen one on the store at all. I saw him a couple times, but he goes he he goes up in value. I seen him on eBay for like twenty dollars or something. Him and crack shot. He's bouncing he's bouncing his soccer ball. He's so if you see feet. aerial threat or crack shot in the him. store, you gotta get them because those are those are pretty rare. Those are the rarest ones. Alright. So yeah, yeah, I don't play Fortnite too much. I, I've tried it a few times. I don't get super competitive into gaming, so that's why I kind of... It's all about winning, right? It's all about the victory royale. Mm -hmm. I'm not a super competitive person, so to me it doesn't like... I don't have to always come in first, so I really don't care too much. But I love the toys. Mm -hmm. I love the character design. So that's what I like about Fortnite. It has like one of the biggest rosters you can think of. Which is super, super cool. It used to be games like Mortal Kombat and stuff, huh? Where they have all these different suits and you see all the characters. Marvel vs. Capcom had like a lot of different characters. But I love how it has just a bunch of different characters. There's someone you're bound to love in this game. So I like that the figures, this is going to be crazy. They're going to be making like a figure for everybody. They even make characters that are like from like other games and stuff. Oh, like John Wick? When they brought John Wick, I love that movie. And they brought him into the game, which is crazy. Thanos, they brought Thanos in. That was crazy. That's, see, that's what I like about Fortnite. Give them props on that. They also put Black Widow as a skin. You can have her as a skin. Oh, and also Star Lord. Mm, see, so Ethan does play Fortnite. Everyone thinks you don't play Fortnite. And it's mostly because you're on the Switch right now, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's, he's He only has his Fortnite um, skins and all that on PS4. So if you ever want to play with Ethan on Fortnite, it's going to be on PS4, the Switch. The controllers are a little, uh huh. Yeah. I like the PS4 remote better yeah. for Fortnite. But yeah, that's why. So Ethan does play Fortnite. I don't play it too much, so don't probably figure you're going to be battling royale battling royale me. Is that how you say it? Anytime soon. Maybe one day, maybe one day. We could like stream it or something like that. All right, so that it's is up to the, you guys. That is the whole set. All right, now what do we got? We got, here's the first. Two packs. The two packs. Oh no, this one comes with tomato head and shadow, shadow ops. ops. He's got like the pizza cutter. <laughs> He's got a pizza cutter <laughs> on the back. Oh, you guys can see the other ones that are coming. Are these in the box? We have no idea. Let me wait. Okay, let me kind of glimpse into the box now because Ethan just pulled out a bunch of stuff. Let's kind of take a glimpse. There's more, guys. There's more. There's We're like halfway through. This is insane. So we got a two pack. And what else is next? We're going to open all of these. We have this two pack. Oh, remember when I first saw this one? I was just shaking my head. Yeah. I was like, oh gosh, they had to do the dab pose. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> this one's probably super popular. Hey, I saw one of these on the floor the other day. I didn't know if it was like one of your Marvel Legend toys or something. Now I remember. Whoa. Ooh, Ethan lost one of the little guns from the toys. I was cleaning the house the other day and I saw that on the floor. Ooh, now I know. Uh, I know where it came from. Someone's missing a weapon. Uh, <laughs> so this one comes with Mission Specialist and Dark Voyager. I like his helmet. Yeah, his helmet. They, they're both helmets. Well, this his helmet. This one. The dark one. It's like a motorcycle helmet. They actually make like Dark Voyager um, motorcycle helmets. And this one comes with a lot of guns and stuff. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got... That one already, and this one, are these two in there? Do you guys think they are? We're about to find out in a little bit. Right. Something's in that box. Now we have... Let's see. Let's see. Another two-pack. Oh, we're just missing, like, how many? One, one more? more? One more two-pack. Oh, let's hope it's in there. This one has drift. What head sculpt do you like better for drift, Monster? Do you like his, like, human face or when he has, like, his little... Oh, his suit. His whole suit with the mask? Mm -hmm. I like that mask. Drift looks really, really cool. And abstract. Oh, yeah, they also have the other, they have, they have a lot of drifts. Drift and abstract. I mean, he has different, like, forms or levels, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so the only one we're missing is this one. Do you know who they are? Do you remember their names? Um, Flytrap and Battlehound. Oh, you remember their names. So that's the one we're looking for. I like the artwork on the side. That is super, super cool. It makes me not want to like open these and throw away the box. But I have to admit, these do look probably cooler opened when you, because it has a display for it. If they didn't make this display for it, then maybe, I don't know, it would look cooler in the box. Now, next up is Fly Trap in Battle House. Yeah, we got all four. This is series two. This was wave two of the entire two packs. That was all, and look at theirs. Oh my gosh, their pickaxes. Is that the same weapon? Did they come with the same weapon? So you are gonna get some repeats. You're gonna have a bunch of accessories the same after a while if you try collecting all these. So that is all four of the two packs. That is all nine of the singles. Oh, wait, there's more. Wait, there's more in there? That's already all of wave two. Now we got. No, oh, this is brand new. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> wait. Meltdown and the visitor. It comes with an exclusive figure. Oh, guys, this is crazy. Oh, the glider doesn't fly. Meltdown glider. It has a little thing to like pose it. You could put it on top of the roof right here and make it look like he's coming down. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. You can drop in, so you can make him hold on to it, glide into battle, and then the visitor figure. And he comes with, on the back it only shows him with one gun, but he actually comes with two guns. In his backpack. It's not going to actually fly. <laughs> you can actually throw it off a plane. And it has a poster inside. The poster is going to show you all the new ones. This is new. This is like brand new. Whoa, look at this. All right. Is there more? There's more. No way. There's more. Wait, did they make a Series 2 4 pack? Is, it, is that in there? I don't know. I don't know what's in there, guys. Now I'm, now I'm at a loss for words. One, two, three. Two. Whoa. Oh, the little AT. Wait, is this the little? Yeah, the ATK. Oh, my gosh. The all-terrain cart. And this one has a drift figure. Wow. Oh, Ethan, that one has a drift figure. And that one ha and that, and drifts in there, too. And he's in a single one. Wow. And then this one comes with the two little pistols. Guys, look at the details on the cart. Look at all the details. It's got the little sign on there. The little golf cart has the little pigs in the back yeah, so you can dur stand more the people. The Durberg and tomato head. How many car how many people can fit in there? Four, I think. It looks like four, huh? Mm -hmm. Cause it got the little golf cart flag on the back. The altering cart and drift. So they're starting to make these jumbo exclusive ones. They come with an exclusive figure and you get the vehicle. And then on the back, it shows you, oh, wow. How cool does that look with all four of them right there? That is super cool if you see that rolling towards you. Run. Run. Wow. And then, oh, wait, it has the Dirt Burger and... And the tomato. It does. That is super awesome detail. And little tomato, like the little dice hanging from the mirror. This is really cool. I kind of want to get another one of these now. Cause then we could make, we're gonna be able to make a diorama now. The cart can like park next over here somewhere and then you can have the glider coming down. And then the bus, remember the battle bus that we found? Oh, we're gonna have to get the big old huge battle bus. Oh, no. Have that coming down. <laughs> Look at everything we're at right now. All of this was in there. There's more. There's one more thing. One more thing. All right, let's guess. It's gotta be, is it the four pack? Is I don't even know what else there is then. Wait, four pack. Is, is, is it one of these? The mega forts? Let's just, let's just say the battle bus won't fit in there. Let's just say it's big. It's big. Uh, guys, help me out. Another one of these. Uh -uh. What other vehicles is there? The ball, the don't the rolling ball. Did they ever make that? No, they never. Uh, what's it called again? The gyrospear. Yeah, the gyrospear. Yeah, from Jurassic World. <laughs> They should make a gyro spear. They probably will now. I'm, I'm almost right. positive. It is the Port of Fort. Oh, that's right. The Port of Fort. No way. Build your fort and take cover. Oh, man. Exclusive figure. This one comes with Infiltrator. And that is it. It is so crazy that all their stuff. Look, click together. Build it. Battle. Battle. 
You know what's so crazy? That all their like play sets and figures come with exclusive figures. Take to higher ground. Port of Fort. Pieces click together. I wonder, doesn't this, didn't this say the Port of Fort? I forgot about the Port of Fort. Well, I think I know how it works. Didn't I it say think, that? I think you just connect it onto the me Mega Fort. Oh, guys, we're gonna have a huge yeah, diorama yeah. coming up right now. Mm -hmm. All right, the Port of Fort has to get built. It's gonna go over here. Yeah. The glider is gonna get built and go up here. The cart is gonna get built. We're gonna open up all these figures right now, guys. All these figures. No, get ready. There's no more. No more? No guys, stay tuned at the end of the video because I have a huge surprise to show you guys at the end of this video. Stay tuned to the very, very end. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack all of these open, all of them, and get them set up in our little backdrop display. Are you ready to do this, Lester? Yep. This is a lot of stuff. All right, let's do it. And here we have every single figure and little vehicle out of the box. Look at all the figures and the port of fort. We're gonna go over every single figure right now. And then look how the glider looks. Oh, hey, so we have something to say right off the bat. You know what stinks about the port of fort? Let's do the port of fort. All right, come over here, monster. Guys, we gotta show you something crazy happened when we were building the port of fort. All right, so here's the port of fort. You see it? Looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty okay. Let's go over the figure. So, who do we have here, monster? We have infiltrator. So here's infiltrator, and then he's got his little the, the little bomb, right, or grenade. Grenade. Port so he throws that, and you can see the detail of the port of fort. Pretty cool, right? Nothing. Uh, his heavy sniper. Yeah, his heavy sniper rifle. Nothing, nothing Nothing crazy, right? Nothing too crazy little, yet. Little nice figure. Nice figure. Pretty, pretty, decent, decent. <laughs> pretty cool. Then we got our base right here, which holds up the entire border fort. Up here at the top, you can stand all your figures on these pegs. Or if they don't, they all have a hole on their feet. So you shouldn't have any problem sticking anyone there. But if you want to keep them with their bases, unless it, unless you can also stand it there. Unless you get like a defected like four four with like a loose peg or something. Just want to keep it with the little what the little V buck base. Yeah, there's probably some some sets that have like loose pegs. So check out the port of fort. Tell me if you notice anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> if you already own the port of fort, you should know. If you don't own the port of fort. Maybe you won't catch it at first glance, but when you play the video game. Well, let's just see. What's that? What is that? What does that look like? So I'm going around and around and around. What do you notice? <laughs> where's, the, where's the door? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, on the instructions, you're supposed to get a piece that has a door. You get a total of eight pieces, eight little squares. We just happened to get a defected one. We got a port of fort with no door. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it was all brand new and sealed. No one switched it. You can tell. We got one, two, three, four pieces on the bottom that have no door. And then there's one, two, three, four color pieces. And there's no door on those so either. It was supposed to be a green piece. I think it's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to be a green one with a door. And we got two regular green ones with no door. There's no door on there. Womp, 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 womp. We have no door to get into the port of fort. <laughs> you just have to hang glide and drop in. But look at the size of the port of fort compared to the figure. So that's a pretty decent size, right? Yeah. I would say it is. And then the figure can snap on anywhere you'd like as long as it just pegs in there. Or you can put it over here. You can put them anywhere. It doesn't have to go on the peg. It's just I would. These figures are so unbalanced that they, some of them kind of need a, a peg. Because some of them do get unbalanced once their arms start going in crazy positions. See, like him? He's not going to stand so well because he's back heavy the way he's posing. See, so it's better to keep them on there. But they do all have, like, unique poses, which is really cool. So there's the port fort We reviewed that one already. port fort pretty awesome. Kind of stinks that we have to get another one now. Just for a door. Because the door. It's missing the door. <laughs> the door. Right here, it shows on the instruction. There's supposed to be a door and they can actually come out of there. And ours, I don't know what, they're they're stuck in there. <laughs> if you drop down that hole, good luck in there, buddy. All right, what should we go next? Should we do, I want to do the ATK last because there's something cool about that as well. So here's all the figures. Let's start off with the single packs. All right. 
So who is the first single pack um, figure that we have up? So the first one we have up is Bright Gunner. Oh, Bright Gunner. Check out his little mini gun. <sighs> and the detail on his shirt, it's a little cuddly teddy bear with some Uzis. <laughs> with some little rifles. Look at his face, he's smiling. He's happy about getting his victory royale. <laughs> and I like the detail on their on their pants, their shoes. There's a lot of detail. What did you say when we were opening these, remember? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not about the, him. About all the figures. Remember, you were like, "Hey, these are cool. They're not like cheap uh, China oh, yeah. knockoffs." Oh yeah, look at his backpack. Even the detail on his backpack. Because I, I said that I like how they have so much detail. Even their hair is all detailed. The paint job is really good. Moose Toys did a really, really good job with these toys. Even the detail on the gun, like right there, just the detail on this makes it look really, really, really good. If you wanted, you could paint them too. If you're like really good in painting, you could add more highlights, more details, it, more wash on there. It's probably other like companies that make these figures, but they're like less detailed. Let's go ahead and put him right there. Now look, we're gonna have a huge display. Who do we have next? Next is Moisty Merman. Moisty Merman <laughs> jamming out on the guitar. And so he's got his little backpack that has the little oxygen tanks on there. There's kind of like a wash right there on the, all the tubes and metal. Now look at his face. Uh, there is a lot of detail. You can feel all the scales even on the back. I feel that right now. Little scales on his feet. So they didn't cheap out on the sculpt on these. Fins on his elbows. You like the guitar? Yeah. You can see all the little strings on his guitar. For being super small figures, this is one of the best detail I've seen. His head turns. The arms move. Um, they've got pegs for you to put different stuff in there. Uh, different ways to pose them so if you want you could put them on the back of the V-Buck coin so he could be more back or you could put them standing more forward or to the side you could peg them anywhere you want if you want them more to the left of it so I don't know I like to center them as best as possible I think that looks more cleaner All right, let's put but there we go where do you want to put him uh, let's put him up top they're at the very have, top they're gonna have a party. he's having a concert up there <laughs> All right, he's up here having a pretty. Who do we got next? Next up is Sledgehammer. Oh, Sledgehammer doing his little salute, and he's got his weapons. Do you know the names of these guns, Monster? Uh, so this is a assault rifle and then a heavy shotgun. Heavy shotgun. Wow, look at that. It looks huge. It does look heavy, huh? Mm -hmm. And all, like I said, look at the detail on him. He's got all his little pockets, all his little pockets right here to carry all his ammo and binoculars and, and uh, what else? Snickers bars, <laughs> M&M's, carry all his candy, fruit by the foot is in there. Alright, he's going to be saluting. Who's he saluting? Where's he going to be at? He's in a, he's in he looks like he would camouflage in the wooden area. He's going to be uh, saluting. He's saluting right here. Yeah, he's saluting all the people that come up, that come up to his level or come down to his level. He's like, welcome, welcome to the wooden level. He's a statue. And you don't see him, so you just hear wood talking to you. <laughs> so, what was that? <laughs> he blends in. All He's right. camouflaged. Next up is Aerial Assault. Aerial Assault. I was trying to figure out where the soccer ball goes, remember? Yeah. And then I realized it has a peg on the bottom, so it actually has a peg. You could put it on his thumb. You could put it on his finger, on this thumb. And I figured it looked best pegged right there. What dance is he doing, Monster? Take the L. Mm, do you know how to do that dance? No. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. What I like about him is, you ready? His number. Number 14. That's the date of my birthday. February 14th, Valentine's Day. It is? The 14th. You didn't notice, huh? Uh-uh. Now you do. Now you do. And then his detail on his shoes is really good. Even on the bottom, you can see all the cleat work on there. It's pretty good. Where does he? Where do you want him dancing? <laughs> He's going to be dancing at the concert. Oh, good one. He's dancing. Everyone that's doing a dance should be up there. Let's move the knight down. He, he's fighting. He's over here. All right. So everyone dancing goes up top. <laughs> They're having a party. <laughs> All right. Who, who we got next? Next up is Crackshot. Crackshot. What's he doing? It looks like he's running away. Or he's, he's about to hop in. Or he's sneaking up on someone. So Crackshot is one of the rare ones he's trying, to get. He's trying to get somebody a candy cane. That's a huge candy cane. He's got his little rocket launcher. You can see a little face on there. If you see that face coming at you, run. All right, so there he is. A lot of detail on crack shot. Huh. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of detail. It's like they don't reuse any parts. 
most big figures and stuff they reuse arms and legs torsos these all look different they're all each individually sculpted uh, the hair the hat right, they didn't even uh, just paint that on that's actually like sculpted on there uh, so these are really really good detail they're actually that makes them collectible when they're like that where do you want him is he dancing he, he, he's hiding he's sort of dancing sort of all right if there's someone dancing more than him he's gonna get booted out mm -hmm. He's All up right. there. Next up is Rabbitator. Rabbitator. <laughs> the one of the easiest ones for us to find, at least in our area. You see like 20 of these Rabbit Raiders at every like Target and Walmart we go to, and then you don't see hey, anything it else. It looks like popcorn in his bag. So he's got a little chocolate bunny and a carrot on that side. Pretty cool detail. Got some grenades on his belt. A little look mask. Look at his feet. And look at his egg. He has bunny feet. That's a solid egg right there. And he's got some bunny slippers. <laughs> so he's pretty cool. I don't know why people don't want him, why there's so many of them. Maybe it's the color pink that draws him away, I guess. Mm. I don't know. He's still a cool character. His head doesn't Where turn. do you want him at? Uh, he's sort of dancing, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Everybody up there is dancing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess he, uh, He's dropping into the dance. He's coming into the party. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Funk Ops. Funk Ops. He was a weird pose. I think it's just <laughs> the way his arm is holding the grenade. It's weird. I wish it was a a way for him to like move his arm out so it looks like he's throwing the grenade. He's like talking into it like a microphone. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's up? I'm going to throw this boogie bomb at you. You better run. Goodbye. And he's got a huge disco ball, which oh, he, is cool. He's going to go to the party, too. All right, he's gonna, <laughs> oh, my God. Ain't no room up in there. Ain't no room over there. Alright, I guess so. Alright, he's going to the party. <laughs> Y'all better make room for me. Alright, here we go. He's up there. Oh my gosh. Alright. There's I, I, we made room for him. Alright, now we have Chopster. Chopster. I like this one. I love the detail on him. I didn't completely realize until I got him out of the package that he's wearing like sandal flippers. <laughs> Which will not work in water. <laughs> Sandal flippers. You have to like cover it. Water's gonna get inside. Those don't work. <laughs> He'll realize that. And then his little shark fin pegs in. He's got little fins right here. A little bit of messy yellow paint on the bottom, but that's okay, I guess. You see it? This is the first one I've seen like that. Dang, someone went all crazy with the yellow on this one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They were in a rush to go home. I gotta hurry up and finish this one, then I can go. <laughs> and they got sloppy on that one. So this is the first one we've seen that got a little sloppy, but that's okay. <laughs> He's got some sunglasses. I like his little pickaxe. The detail on this is amazing. The shark got speared through, and then you can see a little rope on the handle. Like the shark's gonna eat. He holds this really well. He holds his accessories better than most. The hand is perfectly sculpted for the gun, and then this rope gives it an extra texture. So he holds his stuff really, 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 really good. The, the shark's gonna eat his gun. I like this one a lot. All right, even though it has a little yellow mustard all over it. Okay, <laughs> you go over there. There you go. All right. Okay, now we have Red Knight. Mm, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> there goes the base. <laughs> Red Knight flew off her base. <laughs> so remember, you can put them anywhere you want. So you could, oh, she has two. Yep. Right there, there you go. You can put them on both pegs if you want, or you can move it over to this peg if you just want to put it on one. But she has really skinny legs. <laughs> really, really skinny. This is the skinniest legs I've seen. So Red Knight, and then what is that? What? what is Did that? it get scratched? Did you cut it with the scissor? I don't know. You could probably slice it with the scissors. <laughs> I don't even know what he did. And then there's not super a lot to say about this one. It has the shield on the back. Which is really cool. Oh, there she goes again. She comes off the base really easy. <laughs> I don't know what it is about her. She doesn't want to be she, on the base. She has tiny feet. The ones that don't come with a base, so it, it is kind of a bummer that... Like this um, one. Yeah, the infiltrator dude and Drift, Drift and one. that one. The, uh, the that's What's his name again? The visitor. visitor. They don't have bases. So maybe... Oh, and then all the, the ones that came in the Mega Fort. Yeah, the ones that come with the Mega Fort. Anyone that comes probably with the bus, too. Like they don't come with a little base. And exclusive, exclusive ones don't have bases. There you go. That's a good way of saying it, huh? Yeah. 
So I kind of wish. Oh, we need to put people at the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom. I kind of wish she's hiding in the shadows. Mm -hmm. That they right. would at least include bases. So or maybe Moose Toys add those. Now, that's all the singles. Now all right, that was all the singles. That's right. We had them in order. Now it's time for the two packs. These are all the two packs. So who do we got first? We have Tomato Head and Shadow Ops. All right, you go ahead and show them that. All right, so here's Tomato Head. Yoink. His big head. He looks like Carl with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cool pose. He has a lot of sculpt going on, too. I like his pose. His, he has a big head. <laughs> He's got a giant pizza cutter. Big old feet, big old head, big old backpack. He's probably got a pizza in there. Big old pickaxe. He stands out. It's the head, huh? It's the head. It's the head that makes him stand out. Look at that. No matter where you put him. Look at that. You put him way, way off to the corner and he still stands out. Like you see him. That one and the rabbit one too. The rabbit reader. It's like all the ones that are like a certain color. Mm -hmm. All right, now. We'll put him down here. Here is Shadow Ops. Dun, 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 dun. Out of these two, out of this two pack, which one did you like Tomato better? Head. Tomato head. Yeah. Tomato head is the winner, and she's got her sniper rifle. She is gonna go in the shadows. She's cool. She comes with a huge sniper rifle, and then she comes with her pickaxe. Yeah, she's snipe. Oh, but she's sniping. She should be going up here, up top, huh? Because she's not hiding in the shadows. Oh, you want her to hide? In What's her name again? Shadow ops. Shadow ops. Okay, shadow ops is gonna be hiding under there. Shadow Ops is hiding. You don't even see her. Look, literally. Mm. <laughs> she is hiding. Mm -hmm. There you go. You guys can see her now. Okay, who we got next? Alright, now we got Battle Hound. Dun, 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 dun. He's cool. I like mm -hmm. the detail on his pickaxe. Medieval. Mm -hmm. You like this one? No, oh, I like that one. Barely see a little face in there with little beady eyes. I like their feet. <laughs> their feet are so <laughs> huge. And it looks like he needs a shield. Just looks like his character needs a shield. And then you can see all the detail on his arms. You see the little tattoos going on there? Mm -hmm. And he's got his little chainmail armor. So he's pretty cool. He comes with a huge, huge weapon and then his pickaxe. I mean, he's a dragon, so he can't have, really have a shield. Mm, true. That. He's like a lion, isn't he? Oh, a lion. Well, a lion. <laughs> okay. A lion dragon. A lion. We'll put some more down here. We need more down here. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Right. Now, another part of the two pack is flight trap. He looks like a planter, that like <laughs> like a bush that you just put outside the building to make it look nice. <laughs> and what's he come with? He comes with his little pickaxe that looks like a, looks a tree, mm -hmm. and then his impulse grenade. Mmm, little piece of broccoli. <laughs> he slaps you with a piece of broccoli. <laughs> looks like a piece of lettuce. <laughs> looks like a piece of lettuce. Ate him. Whoa, hey, these are actually kind of a little sharp. Are they? A little bit. Ooh, a little bit actually. You're the one that opened this one. I didn't even feel that one. This is my first time holding this one. That was the first time touching the pickaxe for me. He's okay. He's pretty all right. Let's put him outside. Outside? <laughs> He's the bush. <laughs> He's a little tree outside the building. All right. Now, this is this, the third two-pack. Is Abstract. Mmm, Abstract looks like he just finished painting a wall. and He's like posing. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. So abstract is really cool. He's got some paint on him. He was messy. Yeah. So this is one figure that even if it, they did mess up the paint, you wouldn't even be able to really tell. Because he's supposed to be messy with paint. His backpack is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. It's got extra gas mask, little paint cans on there. It would be so cool if it was like super how do you get detailed. His, how do you get his backpack messy? I don't know. He's a messy dude. He's been painting everywhere. <laughs> he painted himself. So he's pretty cool. He's just in a, he's, the only thing is he's not in like a battle pose. He's just in like a, I finished battling pose. His, his arms no. Or he's work. mad. He could be mad he didn't get a victory around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm painting here again. I quit. <laughs> It'd be cool to pose him, for real, next to like, um, like, uh, like the drift, the paintwork, the stickers. Oh yeah, the stickers. Mm -hmm, it could make it look like he painted that. So he can go right there. All right, now, <laughs> this is the third. The other person that you put. Uh oh. Other, so, something's wrong with this one. Notice anything? <laughs> Ethan decided to just put his head right there. Just for now, so you guys can see. You can switch out the heads. You can either choose this one or this one. Obviously, we like this head version better. So, this one's probably just going to go into our little accessories. <laughs> probably won't use that one. So, it's kind of crazy that they gave him an extra head to use. That is crazy, huh? 
They didn't have to do that. They could have made an alternate version, like a variant, where one comes with this head, one comes with that head. Yeah. I think but that's cool that they gave you both. Mm -hmm. And the detail on him is insane. The sculpt, the shoes, the jacket, the gold paint on here. Man, this is a really good one. This figure is really, really good. I just wish he kind of had a gun. It looks like he needs one. Didn't the first Drift figure have a gun? There's another Drift figure. There's all oh. kinds of Drifts. Drift is like one of the most popular I characters was, then, huh? Because yeah, he was in the first wave. He's in the second wave. He's in the ATK. They're giving Drift a lot of love. Who's this one, Monster? This one is Mission Specialist. Yeah, so Drift came with um, Abstract, right? Mm -hmm. So Drift was with that one, and now here's the next two pack. Uh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's still doing the dab. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a base to do the dab. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is, uh, what's his name again? That's Mission Specialist. Mission Specialist has two huge guns. And he's pretty buff. And he looks super buff when you put his <laughs> arms down. He's like, hey, yo, hey, yo, I'm a Terminator. He's got two huge guns. He, he's like, for look at that. He comes with the biggest guns possible. And he looks super ripped under there. <laughs> look at that. It's the shoulders, man. This guy is solid. Don't mess with this guy. This guy's like a heavy gunner, big time. And he's like armored up. You can pretend he's all armored up. Yo, I'm a master. Victory a uh, hundred times in a row. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one's pretty cool. I like I'm this one. To die the room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like him. All right, so he's gonna go and, uh, over there. The final figure. The final figure. Oh, next we gotta do the ATK. Oh yeah. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Dark Voyager doing the dab. Ain't much to say about that. Dab on everyone. Bam. And then on the back, he's got his little backpack with some good detail. Actually, kind of looks like a little comm system going on in his backpack and. I don't know who. Where is he from? Why would he need a communication device? Hmm. Is he secretly from another planet? Hmm. A planet where that's how they say hi. Deb. Or he. <laughs> that's how they say hi on his planet. Deb. Deb. All right. What if that was the new way to say hi? Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh jeez. All right. Planner can go inside the house. It'll look cool. All right. Here we go. Before I start rolling, this is what I want to show you guys. Listen. Listen, you ready? The wheels on the bus go, go around and around. Listen. <laughs> you hear it? That is super cool. The wheels are like super off road, so it just sounds cool. Whoa. <laughs> and then it makes it rumble when it's going. Uh -oh. oh, drift can drift. <laughs> hey! He's not even in it anymore, and he's still drifting. Guys, so here's the figure. Here's the drift that comes inside. So here's another drift. You can mess around and just switch heads with drifts. We got like three drift heads in this video now. So he's got, he's dual wielding his pistols right here. He's got those same cool shoes with the gold highlights. And still the gold on the, I like the gold. The gold looks good. Even his hair looks good. So this is really, 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 really cool. He's got dual wielding action going on. And now, Here's the moment you all be waiting for. This vehicle is so awesome. Look at the front of it. Yeah, Just the front. So all the detail, the sculpt on there, the headlights. This isn't a sticker or anything. The headlight, then you can see the little tomato and the Der Burger hanging down from there. Does the steering wheel move? No, I wouldn't try messing with it. There's even detail here. Look, they got little cup holders. You can actually see the brake pedal inside. Didn't it come with a bag? Or There's the well, the bag is here. Mm. Yeah, the flag right here it actually comes off. Because you can little, take the flag little, off. A you can move the flag around. So if you want to face it that way, okay. make it look like they're going really fast. And then it has four, a total of four pegs. So you can peg one figure's foot there, and another one on that side. You can put him wherever you want. So if you want to put him right there, there he goes. So you can put them just like that. Then it's got the little stop sign or crossing sign, whatever you want to call it there. And then it just needs, I wish it had more detail even more, or paint paint detail. You could do that yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. Paint them yellow, paint inside there. A little cooler where they keep their drinks and stuff right there. So this is super cool. <laughs> and then what golf cart has these? 
Oh man, that is super, super awesome. Gives it more speed right there. Yeah, but that is really, really awesome. So that's gonna be every single thing that came in that one Fortnite drop box. That is, all of this was in there. All that stuff. What do you guys think of the port fort What do you think of the glider? What do you think of these accessories, like the ATK? Do you want them to make more? We still gotta get the bus. Oh man, this is gonna get crazy. I wanna get like two more of these mega forts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then look, look how it looks already with all of our figures. Guys, this is basically all of the wave two figures. That's all of them, right? Mm -hmm. There's something I gotta show you before we go. Before, What do you guys think of all this? We have all of wave one, right? I think we have all of the wave one. We're missing a couple, like the limited edition Jonesy. And then we're- The die cast. Yeah, the die cast one, that and one. And the carbide. And but this is all of like wave two right here. Oh, look, there's like hardly any room now for wave one. So you can kind of get an idea of how many figures you can fit in this thing. We got to get more of these. There's something that came inside of the ATK and the glider. You ready? Mm -hmm. This. It was a poster. Before we go, I got to show you this. The video's going to end real soon, but look at this. 100 figures to collect and they started giving you a poster with, more with all the wave three. three stuff. Look at everything still coming out. Ultra rare, ultra rare, limited edition. Wave three has not been in like our area. Have you ever seen rare, these? Rare, rare, ultra rare, ultra rare. I ultra have not rare. seen these. Limited. There's Blue Squire and Triceratops, we got those. Triceratops, I say Triceratops. <laughs> Funk Ops is there, we got those. Oh, oh no. man, there's an ultra rare backbone. There's All four wild cards. Be on the lookout for rare and limited edition. Where do you get the limited editions? Rare, we'll find out. But guys, all of these are the newest toys coming from Fortnite. We have not been able to find them in stores. But before we go, real fast, we have a surprise for you guys. Right, so you guys wait to the end. Look over there. What's in the box? Oh, what is that? Guys, Fortnite official box is right there from Moose Toys. They sent us a box. We don't know yet what's in there. We have no idea. Moose Toys sent us a box, and I have a huge feeling we might be seeing some of these. Some of these, hopefully some of those, and some of those ultra rares. But we're going to be doing another unboxing for you guys. Hopefully really, really, really soon. Smash the like right now if you love these videos. If you want to see our diorama get even bigger. We still got to do the bus. We still got to do get all of these. And then we'll do an overview of every single figure we have in our collection. Huh, Monster? Mm -hmm. But if you want to see that, what do they got to do? Subscribe, like, and comment. And we'll catch you guys in another Fortnite video real soon. We love each and every single one of you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.